Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's Saturday and it's raining. Chino. Chino, be patient. Your grain is coming. Your grain's coming. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Chino, because he wanted his breakfast, that is pouring out now. It's just pouring. We're gonna check on Willow. See how she's doing today. We're supposed to give her a cold wash there, but it's raining out, so we all get cold wash if we're out in the rain. Hey, Willow. Oh, you okay? You okay? So the bump is going down. It's almost back to normal. It is hard to catch. It's hard to catch Willow now. Yeah, her trot is a little bit better. So she's getting better. A couple more days. And just like that, the rain stopped. We put the boys in the arena. And the girls in the stalls. It was like a torrential downpour and uh, I wasn't sure if Gabby and Sophie were going to show up of all the rain but I guess they showed up and we put the boys out and the girls in the stalls and now it stopped raining and now I don't have my phone so I can't text Laura to see if she wants the boys out or not what do you think we put the boys out no no is it gonna rain again probably gonna rain again then no. But who knows how bad it's going to rain. Storm acts wild when it rains. Doesn't like the rain at all. So we looked at Willow and it seems that Willow is doing better. She was running, running away from us. Which tells me she's getting better because she didn't want to get caught. And get cold hosed and didn't want to us to put... Yeah, just to get caught in general, so... She's still hobbling, so she's not fully recovered. But a couple more days and that swelling will be gone. It's gone down a little bit more, so a couple more days should be fine. Hopefully. And just like that, it's raining again. Kind of spooked the horses this time. Willow, you seem better. Willow, you're walking around. A little bit better. A little bit better, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, Willow. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. When you are home all the time, every day runs from one day to the next. Friday seems like Saturday, and Monday seems like Sunday. Good morning, guys. So, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> So, if you guys can tell, Sylvia is chomping at the bit. She's jumping up and down. She can hardly control herself. What's happening today, Sylvia? We're cracking open this huge egg. Okay, so let's put it in there and see if they can tell a difference. Put them in. It's the easiest way to see. So, you guys know that we've been getting eggs recently. Still, only two eggs, two chickens are laying. And so, when... Here, watch your hand. So, when chickens first start to lay, their eggs typically are tiny and then they get bigger and better as they go. But when they're still young, and one pops out an egg like this. Today we're gonna crack it open. Triple yolk. Yeah. yeah. So in the past, we've had super good luck with our chickens, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were we really got good. triple yolk. Like even when they were fully grown, they just laid double eggs all the time. Uh, yeah, we had double yolkers all the time. So one it's- One time we got a triple yolk. I know, that was amazing. I'll put the footage here in case somebody hasn't seen it, because we have a lot of new subscribers. If I can find it, I'll put the footage here. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I've never heard of that before! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 
triple the size. Yeah, like if we got another triple yolk, the triple yolk was a miracle day. Like we felt like that was triple that. Huh? Yeah, so it was like up to you. I ran out of butter. That's all the butter I have. So we're gonna still cook the egg, right? We're gonna still try because Sophie just cannot wait. She's been waiting for two days, mm -hmm. and she's dying about this egg. Like mm -hmm. All right, who's gonna crack it? All right, crack it. Put just put it in the butter. Just don't put it over here like you did last time. That's my only my only suggestion. No, you can do it. You can handle it. Oh, Two, yolks. Two yolks. We knew it. Wow, they're conjoined twins. You guys see, they're completely conjoined. Usually when a chicken is first starting to lay, that's when they have the most irregularities. So they have like double eggs, triple eggs, eggs inside of eggs, like with the shell and everything. That kind of stuff happens when they're young. Um, and when you buy eggs from the store, you're buying uniform eggs. So all those like amazing eggs that come from chickens that are just starting to lay, they get tossed aside. They get sold to companies for baking, for recipes. Like they get sold for different things. You can't go to the store and buy them. Sometimes I've seen people sell double yolk eggs, like a whole thing of double yolk eggs. But yeah, like I think we should embrace the unusual, the difference. Like I'd love to open my egg carton from the grocery store and see like all the colors of the rainbow of eggs. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to do that? I just want doubles. Yeah, doubles or, or triples. triples. Yeah, so or fun. Four. Amazing. Good job, egg girl. Last night I went to ladies night first ladies night since January um, or February and Sam always orders pizza when I go out this is their favorite kind of pizza literally it's like cardboard to me okay so before we get moving on with the video I want to take a minute to share with you guys a few things that we got this week that were super fun so this package came addressed to Sophie just to Sophie, she almost had a heart attack that something came just for her. Nobody else could lay claim to it. It was just addressed to her and it had no, um, a, it had no name, no card, no nothing. And it is my dream shirt. It says, love you to the moon and back, Stella Bell, Sophie, and Finn. Like, isn't that one of the most gorgeous Finny. shirts? Finny. Yeah, Finny. I love it. I just, like, I can't even. Do you love it, Sophie? Yeah. She's been dying to put it on since she opened it. I said, no, no, we have to video it. Now <laughs> she's just going to whip it on. She's, like, been dying to wear this shirt. It is so Where beautiful. Is shirts on like that? You're supposed to put two arms, then your head. I know. <laughs> yeah, I do that, too. All right, everybody, oh, close your eyes while Sophie gets so dressed. Awesome. I love it. It's gorgeous, Sophie. I absolutely love it. It's just incredible. Thank you so much to you, whoever sent this to me. I love it. Moving on, we did get a letter from nine-year-old Vivian, and she is a Canadian as well. She, and she sent us a bunch of bracelets that she has been making, some little gifts, and we waited to open those online. This one's special. It's addressed only to Gabby. So Gabby doesn't feel left out. It has got a birthday ribbon on it. It's from her birthday. It took this long to get here. Laura. Laura. What does this say? This one says anyone. This no, is, that's dead. You can open that one. You're anyone. anyone. <laughs> Gabby gets two. What? Gabby gets two because one was for her birthday what? and one for Mom. Sophie. Sit. Come on, Gabby. Oh, open your on. birthday present. Wait, look. Sit. Oh, these are actually really cute. Molly wants to open some. Molly took the ribbon. <gasps> I, oh my goodness. I actually love it. Such a good job, Vivian. Oh, that's a perfect one. Actually, I like yours too. I'm taking it. Yeah, I love a key. No, that's that. Are you, you going to wear it, Sam? It's not like, if you fit really want. It doesn't fit my wrist. It doesn't, oh, yeah. It doesn't fit my wrist. Oh, either. they're so cute. But you know what you could do with it? We could hang these on our purse, on our backpacks. So this one has a key. Mine fits me for sure, okay. hopefully. It's an upside down by a little string. Oh, I love those things. It was hanging on my little string nice and color. I touched you it. You got a nice color. So she did do colors. See? Sophie and Finn, blue. Laura and Stella. Let me guess the birthday present. Pink. Um, 
Me and too. Gabby's is red and white, but Gabby broke this thing, but I can fix it. I actually really like these. I think these are beautiful. I've never even seen where you can buy these beautiful beads. So pretty. I got mine on and it is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Oh, I love that. Mom, That's her birthday one. Fit me though. Wait. Let's see. This is the one that she got for her birthday present. I am making it fit my. So you're changing Chino's color to gray? Mm -hmm. Gray and um, lime green. Gray and lime green? I mean, it fits so bad. I broke it. So in the near future, don't send anything to Gabby. She breaks it. And Molly eats it. Molly, don't eat those Molly, seeds. Molly, no. Spit it out. Well, on a positive point. It was pretty. It was beautiful. And we have these beads and we can maybe make remake it. And use like electric or elastic well, to make it bigger. Short Mine fits perfect. I want to make mine bigger. Sorry, Vivian, for breaking your bracelet, but it is seriously so one? beautiful. This one is so beautiful. I love them all. Where's Dad's? Gabby got one on. She got the red one on. A girl named London also sent us this beautiful picture of Stella Bell. So pretty. <laughs> she says, rest in peace, rest in peace, fly higher than you could ever imagine. The key is to relax your hand or else it will Yeah, it. relax your hand when you put it on. She also sent us these bracelets, which are a beautiful color, gray and pink and white, which are actually some of my favorite colors of all time. London is 12 years old and she lives in Florida. I want to move to Florida, London. Because it's always um, warmer. She also says she wants to dress more like Gabby. Oh, don't dress like Gabby. Um, and she, her dream dog is a Border Collie or an Australian Shepherd. She wants to be an inventor or a jumper hunter. And she says she just recently started to read the Bible because I inspired her and she loves connecting with God. I love, I love that, London. That is amazing. Anyway, I'll finish reading your letter. And thank you guys so much for everything that you've sent to us. These are amazing. We love them all. I especially love everything. Uh, also, so last night I told you I went to Ladies Night. Ladies Night is also known as, who, what is Ladies Night, Gabby? Who are the ladies of Ladies Night? Okay. Mom. It's Mom Squad. Squad is me. <laughs> I created Mom Squad. Oh, I, I You love the Mom Squad. So Mom Squad's me, my mom, Deborah, and Fiona. And LB. So basically the Mom Squad is the whole group of ladies that used to ride, go to the barn, and watch our kids ride together. If you followed all of our riding videos last winter, then you will have seen um, and heard the Mom Squad in the background. So oh, one member of the mom squad, she's the one that did the dance. I don't know if you guys know her. her name is Deb. She runs a business called Sugar Snap Jewelry. I'm gonna put the type the I'm gonna put the link right here and then I'm gonna put the link in the comments if you guys wanna go and check out her stuff. I have showed you guys her stuff before. She makes things like this. This is my keychain and on it is my logo. And then you can take off my logo and I can put anything there. They have these are called snaps and you can get personalized ones with any picture you want. You can get pictures of your family, your horse, your dog, your kids, anybody, your husband, anybody that you want, or you can buy the ones that they have. They have amazing ones. Um, and then it's interchangeable jewelry. So she has necklaces, bracelets, flip flops, hats, purses, like you name it. You can put a snap on it. She just got dog leashes, which I'm going to, I'm going to get for our dogs. Um, and then you put snaps on it so you can kind of decorate your backpacks they have everything so last night after we ate um all the moms went into her little shop because she has a shop at her house and bought some stuff but she ended up giving me these tiny little toe rings for the girls and i actually think they're adorable i think gabby will i think gabby and kaylee are kind of into the more of this kind of stuff i think it's adorable yeah it's so super stretchy and you can put it on your toe i can't get a really good picture of it it's really cute though it's supposed to rain all day today and all day tomorrow and now we're just having a little bit of rain today and it's gonna go back into a heat wave, which I'm okay with. I like a little bit of hot and then a little bit of cold and then a little bit of hot. It just breaks up the summer better, breaks up the heat. I've been loving the last few days. It's been glorious outside. Anyway, let's go get our shop on. So the one thing that I 
wanted to get was pickles because Sophie's been asking me to buy pickles every time I go to the store, every single time. And I messaged her and I said, Sophie, what kind of pickles do you want? Because I'm going to get you pickles today. I'm going to remember and get you pickles. I got the pickles. Yeah. I feel really bad. I could go back in. Is a zoo in there? It's Saturday morning. I'll take her shopping later and get her some pickles. Still waiting for Sam to finish my chicken hutch. This is why I never want another chicken coop that you have to bend over in. Because it hurts your back. Yeah, two that gorgeous. That one's kind of big. Two gorgeous eggs from some gorgeous look lady. Look how big that it is. looks like a rooster so much, doesn't it? Yeah, look how big she is. We've never heard a cockadoodle do though. Oh, they look the same now. She's, no, she just puffed up. Yeah. This one has a big I don't know. Egg. That has to be a rooster. Come this on, you guys. Look how big the thing is. Tell us in the comments. Do we have a rooster or do we not have a rooster? It was such a good day for me because, because we didn't have any plans. We didn't have plans with people. We didn't have plans to go anywhere. We didn't have to do anything except for groceries. Is Chino peeing? Why does he look so funny? No, he's just there. Um, so I was able to get like a ton of work done that I've been trying to get he done. He stands like this. He's so long that he stands like that. Yeah, I know. It's weird to see him out in the field because he is so long, huh? I watched your video that we did with Tabitha Hope yesterday mm -hmm. and she has a special girth because her horse wears studs. Stud girth? Yeah. I don't like them. I know, but but it needs we need to protect our horse's belly. I know, but we don't need that because Chino doesn't kick his stomach. He puts his legs forward, not up. Oh, okay. Storm puts his legs up. Okay. Hunters m normally put their legs forward in uh, front of them when they jump, so uh, they don't really need that. And in the hunter ring, you can't have a stud girth, so you have to train without it. Oh, good thing you were. I had you here to ask. First time I am in the arena today. And it is already four o'clock. Willow's already looking better. All right, let's hurry up and rise. All right, we'll go get your horse. I'm gonna cut some grass. Already looking better. The girls have been cold hosing her a couple times a day. Her weight already looks different. We've been super strict about her weight. I can still see that. Let me just touch it. Oh, it looks better. You guys see it? Here, pony. She's like, you're not touching my leg. That's my sore spot. I need to touch it though. The vet wanted us to cut this grass off. So Sam cut it off. Isn't that so good? Like now our ponies can have this whole field and it might not look huge, but this is at least as big as one of the boys fields, like all together, the two of them. They can still be grass though. Like... So should I take my lawnmower? Should I take my lawnmower out and cut it again? Or is it down? You should take your lawnmower and cut. Where you can, like I couldn't get. Okay, I'll do it right now. On the side here, you'll see. Cut a snake with the mantra. You cut a snake? Can I see it? High five, it? Sam. Yeah. All lives matter. Just go over there, you'll see it. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's just... Is the fence on? No, this part of the fence is not attached. It's not even attached to anything. Mm. Ah! Almost fell. I don't know what to do about the grass here. They can't eat it okay. while Where did you see the, the clippings are on there. They have to all dry up, right? Is that how that works? And also, that's just going to increase the amount of sugar they get because all that grass is going to be trying to repair itself. So I don't know how good that idea is. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's a little bit better. So today, like she's still dragging it a bit. But not as bad. And look at that. That mark look that thing looks so saggy. Definitely looks here. Here's a treat for you. Treat, treat, treat. Oh yeah, it's getting better. And this is how your beautiful puppy that you want to stay clean and fresh gets dirty and smells like horse poop. Whoa, what are you doing? Just standing there with your stall door open. Tied up. Handsome. I'm gonna give you a brush. Oh, you're a bit hot. Tied up. He's kind of tied up. Look, he's been licking that salt lick. He's kind of tied up. Oh, see, he loves a good touch. He just stands there also when he thinks he's tied up, even though he isn't. Watch. This is how well he stands That's when he's tied. This is why it's good to have a lazy horse. They pull too hard. He isn't even tied up. Just a knot. All right, tie him up a little. I'll give him a brush. 
So we got all boys in. Oh, did she rush him? That's why. Yeah. That's why he looks so good. They like to come in for a little rest, but he can't spend too much time in. We have a stall guard here, and he yeah. used to love it. We took the stall guard down because one day. Yeah. And he put a hole in his head. Put a hole in his head. One day, a horse walked by. Yeah. You can feel that was Stella. I know. Stand day Stella walked by. No, it's underneath that spot. It's yeah, right here. here. We're yeah, really and you wonder if he still gets headaches or anything. I don't think so. He's just so, he makes me want to have a nap. And you guys wouldn't believe it, but his, his, his hair feels like silky soft. Like, yeah, like, like butter. This horse I've ever felt. Yeah, he is really like soft. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that to him. No, it's a bit red. It probably hurts him. I know, I tell her. He's like, you tell her mom. Oh, what is under care. here? Look, doesn't care. Look at that. those teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is why he gets mad. This is why he doesn't forgive you sometimes. He forgives me when we jump and nothing else. So we brought the horses in because uh, Finney hasn't been ridden in a couple of days. So he, in two days. This is the second day. Wait. Thursday. So he needs to be, Finney needs to be ridden. He just tried to make his escape plan when I I still can't believe your dad killed a snake. So, Gabby came down to ride Finn. How are you riding Finn, Gabby? Let's, let's talk about what, what's your plan for today, sister? Bareback. Bareback. I'm not yes. changing. Are you riding in the arena or just for a walk around? Arena. It might be a bit wet. Have you checked? Nope. Do you think he'll be okay? We're not galloping. Finn, do you We're hear that? Or jumping. You're not galloping, cantering, or jumping. I mean, if today, if nothing bad happens today, I consider it the best day we've had in a few days because every day seems like one of our horses is lame. Yeah. Finn's like, what is happening? So the thing that makes me a bit nervous is that Finn, oh, you're gonna ride him in bareback. Ruby, don't walk through the door with the horse. Can't even stay on anything. Oh. Knock on wood, sister, knock on wood. So you guys saw, you guys saw that before when we were walking Finn in by himself, that he would say no and he would rear on her. And she had a saddle in full tack. moment this exact moment when Gabby's riding bareback in the arena all alone with no other horse he's taking this moment to dig up some trees or crunch some stuff in the back making a ton of noise tractor. so look how good our pony is now My pony. yeah your pony does he look stiff a little bit so he really. was really stiff in his last ride but he worked out of it oh will kill me as long as I got you I was running from myself those days Always breathless search for something safe And then I smashed into that golden face And for the first time I don't run away We danced together till we got it right Ups and downs through many days and nights
Don't run me over. As long as I got you, oh baby, as long as I got you, oh baby, baby, as long as you want me to, mm -hmm. as long as I got you, 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 as long as I got you, don't you know that you're beautiful?